Hi, this is Mitch Schwartz, your Las Vegas real estate professional since 1987. I'm here to discuss with you today what you can do to stay in your house longer if you're behind in payments or in a financial situation. Many people are in similar situations across the city. They've fallen behind, there's been a notice of default file against the property, or worse yet, there's been a sale date scheduled. Without taking action, the owners of these properties will likely have to move sooner rather than later. And I'm going to give you the three action steps that a person can take who's in these spots. They can take this action immediately to stay in their house longer. Now, before I do that, I want to let you know about LasVegasShortSaleHelper.com. It's a website I created to provide plain truth answers, links to many websites for the government, just a place for you to get good information and hopefully make an educated decision on a short sale versus a loan modification versus a deed in lieu of foreclosure. Just really a great place. As a matter of fact, I don't think you'll see my name or face on it. You just have to click the link below and it'll take you right over there. So let's talk about the information you need to have. Now, top three action steps you can take to stay in your home longer. One, you can file bankruptcy. Now, the bankruptcy doesn't completely stop the foreclosure, but it will pause the foreclosure action against the house. It buys you more time, gives you a chance to step back and figure out what you want to do with your life, and more importantly, how you can solve your financial crisis. It's quite a bit involved, and although I'm not an attorney, I'm somewhat aware of at least how it can affect you in certain instances and what we can do to try and at least get you directed to an attorney who will be able to help you. And if that's what you need, I work with a, uh, several attorneys, um, one of which who I think would be an outstanding fit for just about any of my clients, and I'd love to pass his information on to you as soon as possible. So if you think speaking to an attorney is it a good idea, give me a call. I'll be happy to provide you his information. Number two is filing a request for Nevada Mandatory Mediation. What this is, is with a foreclosure action or a notice of default as we call it, the lender is required to provide you an application that will give you the rights to mediate as to whether or not they have the right to foreclose. Now, it costs you a little bit of money, you send it in, and what happens is, is you get put on the schedule to sit there actually in front of the representative of your lender to discuss whether or not they have the right to foreclose. And many times you can go there and they'll actually help you um, figure out whether or not a modification is good for you. I've sent several people of these things and they actually come away with a modica modification that makes them very happy. I would suggest you do this because literally you get 30 days from the day that you get the notice of default, you fill out the application for mediation, you send it in, and it takes about 90 days to get the response back, which just bought you 90 days because your foreclosure will stop the day that the mediation is received. So the second it's received by them, they can no longer proceed with the foreclosure, actually put a halt on it until they actually get through this process. It's pretty good, huh? And it's quite a bit involved as well, and I'd love to help you with it. You can collect, uh, connect with me and I'll be happy to uh, get you an application if you've misplaced yours. Um, anything I can do to try and help answer some questions, I'd be happy to, just let me know. The third step that you can take is uh, Talk to your foreclosure department at your bank. Believe it or not, they don't want to own your house. And because they don't want to own your house, they might be inclined to actually give you a little bit of time to actually put the property on the market and pursue a short sale. Now, I know you probably want to keep your house, but unfortunately, when you're in this spot, that might not be an option for you. But what is an option is to prevent whether or not you're going to have a foreclosure on your record, whether or not you're going to have a deed in lieu on your record, which is almost like a foreclosure. I don't know about you, I'd rather preserve my dignity, my financial future, and protect my family. And the bottom line is, is by allowing a property to go into foreclosure, you're jeopardizing your financial future. I can help you avoid that. So talk to them about possibly doing a short sale. They're probably going to want the name of a short sale guy. That would be me. And I'd be more than happy to help out. Um, and like I said, believe it or not, they don't want to keep your house. They would rather do a short sale and be done with it. And I'll be doing a video on that shortly. So there are other tricks of the trade. There may be some that work on a case-by-case -case basis. Many people get to this part of the process and they just get so frustrated. They throw up their hands. They walk away. They're like, F the bank. I don't want anything to do with them. And what they don't realize is they're actually hurting themselves in the long run. It's the worst thing you can do is walk away. So call me. Call another agent who specializes in short sales and, and ask questions. Don't just walk away. Don't put yourself or your family in serious financial jeopardy for the next few years. Now, I hope this helped you out. Again, the three action steps you can take. Please let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you or a loved one has another topic you'd like me to discuss. 
I'm always here for you. Just let me know. Until then, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Take care.